Hi, this is Bessie. It's where I'm always doing it right. On this channel, I'll show you how to eat the food you love. I usually show you how to do it in a fashion that's healthy and beneficial to the body. But in today's video, we're going to stray away from the healthy. And in today's video, we're going to be getting into something more gluttonous and sweet. I'm still going to show you how to do it without compromising the flavor and the integrity. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a dairy-free pineapple coconut cake. Not only is this dairy-free pineapple coconut cake sweet, but it also has an outrageously moist interior from the crushed pineapples we'll be using, and not to mention the shredded coconut and the crushed pecans give it additional texture and flavor. So if you're having a sweet tooth craving, or if you love dairy-free recipes or just cakes in general, then this is definitely one of those recipes you don't want to miss. All you need to do is don't be shy, hit that like, share, and subscribe, tap the notification bell below. You'll get notified when I upload this dairy-free pineapple coconut cake recipe. And without any further ado, let's get to doing what Lila's Best Eats Does Best. Let's get into this easy, sweet, dairy-free pineapple coconut cake recipe and let's get to doing it right. Okay guys, here are the ingredients needed for the dairy-free pineapple coconut cake. You'll need eggs, baking soda, vanilla extract, crushed pineapples, dairy-free evaporated milk, all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, shredded coconut, a bag of pecans, and plant-based butter. For the exact cake batter measurements, you'll need two and a half cups of crushed pineapples undrained, two large eggs, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of baking soda, two cups of all-purpose flour, and two cups of granulated sugar. For the dairy-free coconut icing, you'll need one cup of chopped pecans, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of shredded coconut, three quarter cups of dairy-free evaporated milk, and one stick of plant butter. Okay guys, in the first step to prepare the cake batter, start by adding the flour to a large bowl. Add the baking soda, whisk the two ingredients together until they're well incorporated, then add the first two cups of sugar, followed by the eggs, vanilla extract, and crushed pineapples. Whisk these ingredients together until they're also well incorporated, but be sure not to overmix the batter or you'll end up with a dry cake. Next, spray a 9 by 13 casserole dish with baking spray. Transfer the cake batter into the lightly greased casserole dish. Give it a good shake to remove as many bubbles as possible. Once the cake batter is done, this is what the final result should look like. Next, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Place the cake into the center of the oven and set a bake time between 30 to 40 minutes depending on your oven. While the cake is baking, prepare the dairy-free coconut icing by first adding the coconut milk to a medium saucepan over a medium high heat, followed by the plant-based butter and the last remaining cup of sugar. Then use a silicone spatula to incorporate both of these ingredients. Stir these ingredients together until the butter has completely melted and the sugar has completely dissolved. Continue to stir over the medium high heat for about five minutes until the icing begins to thicken. Once the icing has thickened, it should coat both the front and the back of the spoon. In the next step, add the chopped pecans and shredded coconut. Use the same silicone spatula to incorporate these two ingredients. Once the dairy-free coconut icing is completed, here's what the final result should look like. To check to see if the cake is done, simply stick a toothpick through the center. If the toothpick comes out clean, the cake is done. Next, remove the cake from the oven and set it aside to cool. Here's what the final result should look like. The pineapple cake should have slightly browned edges with a perfectly golden top. In the next step, use the same toothpick to poke several holes throughout the top of the entire cake. Then pour the dairy-free coconut icing over the top of the cake and use a silicone spatula to spread the icing out evenly until the cake is completely covered. Once the dairy-free pineapple coconut cake is completed, this is the final result. This cake will be so extremely moist and have a very sweet topping full of coconut and crushed pecans. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share my content, let people know Lila's Best Eats is always doing it right. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys again next time.